वेलकम टू क्रिक वर्ल्ड स्ट्रेट अप यानी सीधी बात बाय विजय एंड प्रभु वेलकम टू द पोस्ट मॉर्टम ऑफ इंडिया थ्री न्यूल डिफीट अगेंस्ट साउथ अफ्रीका डू रिमेम्बर टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब नाउ ऑन टू द सीरीज इट सेल्फ फॉर थ्री इन द फर्स्ट इनिंग्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन डे इंडिया हैड अ बिग एडवांटेज व्हिच वी फोल्ड फेल्ड टू ड्राइव होम we bowled the spinners and didn't bring back bumrah and rasi and tivuma hit hundreds and there was no looking back so india lost that's fine but you are forgetting that south africa also played very well mind you south africa was one rung lower than the indians on the odi rankings correct correct but there was a chance to drive the advantage home which we failed as a result of which the momentum shifted back to south africa and that was it for the rest of the series try as we might we couldn't get back into it and the result was obvious 3-0 so let's look at a few reasons why this happened um, i thought like i said a little bit of timid captaincy uh, poor team selection like for example they did not bring in uh, I mean, they bowled uh, Ashwin where we had other options, and then they took a year without bowling him. So a little bit of defensive uh, kind of approach. Uh, they had a specialist batsman in Surya Kumar Yadav, whom they could have taken in match one, but they decided against it. Possibly, but all that is also um, in, as a context. <clears throat> the wicket at Pal was actually not expected to turn. I think the South Africans did a number on Indians there. I have a feeling that. Indians expected all the wickets to be bouncy and, and things like that, but it just turned out that the wickets were actually spinner friendly. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Indian team actually were trying to accumulate runs against Markham and uh, uh, Maharaj, whereas nobody tried to dominate them. Absolutely, absolutely. If you look at how South Africa actually approached this Indian bowling, they were reverse sweeping. They were going. um on the attack more mm. and whenever the indians attacked what they did was um they almost hold out i saw a uh, dhavan or something he was trying to uh, you know put markham out of the uh, park he had done that in one of the overs why would you actually do that again and especially look out not look out for a player at square leg yeah you remember that yes yeah okay the ball went to square leg the fielder didn't have to move um I also feel one of the biggest uh, flaws uh, or the drawbacks in the Indian team in this series was the fact that we did not get wickets in the power play. So sure. uh, we our fast bowlers were completely ineffective yeah. <clears throat> except for game 1 and then we just struggled and the too much pressure in the latter overs for the other bowlers. Yeah, absolutely. And look, besides uh, Bhumra, um I don't think anyone made any serious impact on uh, South African batting. I mean, for crying out loud the second test uh, sorry not so much test the second odi south africa won by seven wickets correct i mean the indian how can you top do that? order was like very top heavy 1 to 4 uh, is very very strong 5 6 7 8 are quite inexperienced so looking at that scenario we find that the old fashion approach of accumulate for the first 30 overs and accelerate in the last 20 does not work because our bottom four are not probably that equipped to take the acceleration to the level needed so we can pra- pass probably 300 every time yeah and they should have had actually passed 300 because the wicket was actually making that possible however let's come to the third odi what yeah. happened there india lost uh, by four runs or something yeah. uh, inexperience yes at the end uh, perhaps and i think south africa i think kind of had already had a feeling that they had already won the match by when the 7th or 8th wicket went down right. rahul chahar came around and i think he hammered 54 or something yes. which was which was unexpected uh, but it could have gone either way yeah true i mean the match was probably lost and won by india and then lost again uh, in a matter of uh, minutes uh, i think the other thing which we need to look at is uh, going forward in long term is to see if we can have a specialist one day team looks like we have got too many accumulators in the team too many test players bowlers maybe batsmen maybe and we need to have something like a specialist one day team it will also help in workload management i guess going forward i suppose so and that i think south africa did that brilliantly they rested uh, their premier bowlers 
they also managed to bring in new people in. Yeah. Um, and yes, uh, you know, Quinton de Kock is, I think he came back fresh, you know, had, had two, uh, two test um, rest. And he delivered, he delivered fantastically. None of Indians could actually get 100. He got uh, a, a hundred, didn't he? Yeah. 124, yeah, I think. 124. Yeah. yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Absolutely, Absolutely. brilliant performance. Yeah. We had some good performances as well, but not good enough to uh, get a victory for us. Uh, sadly, 3-0 uh, was the result. Thank you so much, friends, for joining us and supporting us. And I hope you like the post-mortem of the India-South Africa one-day series. Yeah, do remember to like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon with another episode. Thank, Thank you, you and see you, see you next time. time.